find the LCM and HCF of 20, 35 and 91. To find the HCF and LCM, first we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. C. That is 20, 35 and 91. Okay, next. The first number is 20. 20 is 5 4 is 20. Now we have 4, 4 is 2 2 is 4. Now we have 2, 2 is a prime number, so 2 1 is 2. Now the other number, 35. 35 is 5 7 is 35. Now we have 7, 7 is a prime number, so 7 1 is 7. Now the other number, 91, last digit 1, not even, so this number not divisible by 2. Next to prime number 3, to check divisibility by 3, for that we should add the digits. That is 9 plus 1, 10, is 10 divisible by 3, no. So, this number also not divisible by 3. Next prime number 5. Here the last digit is neither 0 nor 5. So, this number not divisible by 5. Next prime number 7. To check divisibility by 7, we check in this way. 91 by 7, 7 ones. Here we have 9, a number close to 9 in 7 table is 7 once 7. 9 minus 7, 2, 2 carried forward making it 21. When do we get 21 in 7 table? 7, 3 is 21. Over here no number has been left. Therefore this is divisible by 7. So we take 7 here. And here we write this number that is 13. Now here we have 13, 13 is a prime number, so 13 ones, 13. Now our HCF is, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present over here and here and also here. I repeat, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these three places that is here here and also here so now let us find the numbers which are present here here and also here starting with the number 5 do we have 5 here yes go to the next place do we have 5 here no 5 is present only in two places so we cannot write here to write a number here, that number should be present in all the three places. Now next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. No need to check in the other place. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. No need to check in the other place. No more numbers have been left. Therefore, we do not have any number present in all the three places. In these situations, we should always take HCF to be 1. I repeat, we do not have any number present in all the three places, so we should take HCF to be 1. Okay, next. Now to get LCM. Whatever HCF we got to that, we should multiply by the numbers which appeared either once or twice in these three places. What I mean is, see, over here 5 is not cut. Do we have 5 here? Yes. Next place, do we have 5? No. 5 present in both places, so you cut 5 and write here. To write a number here, it is enough if it is present in one place or in two places. 
next number 2 do we have 2 here no next place do we have 2 here no 2 present in only one place so you cut 2 right here here 2 is not cut do we have 2 here do we have 2 here no 2 present in only one place so you cut 2 right here now here 7 is not cut do we have 7 here yes 7 present in 2 places so you cut 7 and write here now 13 is not cut 13 is present in only one place so you cut 13 and write here now each number has been cut therefore our LCM is 1 into 5 5 into 2 10 into 2 20 into 7 140 so 140 into 13 0 13 fours 52 so 2 fives 13 ones 13 plus 5 is 18 so 1820 is our LCM am I clear